Okay, so they say that never start with an apology in formal writing and formal speaking, but I deem it necessary because last time I posted um, about like uh, we're going to have a chit chat later, but I haven't and I regret about that because of uh, my phone is being conjured. <laughs> I don't know. It's still, you know, functional, but uh, sometimes it goes crazy, like me. <laughs> oh my gosh, last time, you know, the previous video that I had, I, I reviewed it actually, and you know, I'm not really good in editing and stuff like that. Um, it was okay, the sound was in sync, but after a while, when I watch it again, I don't know, can, can you comment down below if it's the same as now? That, that it is like delayed audio or something. But anyways, at least you can still understand maybe. Okay, so today I'm going to pay tribute to our men. Because I'm always talking about Filipinas and for women like that. So it's time to recognize, praise, and acknowledge the significance of our men. Since it is Father's Day, I'd like to greet everyone a happy Father's Day to all the fathers and dads in the whole world. Okay, so happy Father's Day to, to the father of my kids. Happy Father's Day. <laughs> you have a lot of basketball team now. Probably. <laughs> Is your basketball team complete? <laughs> no, sorry, I'm just joking. However, oh, joking all the time. Anyways. Okay, so it's timely to discuss and you know give time and attention to our Filipino men. Okay. How do our Filipino men treat Filipinas or their wives or, or their girlfriends? Okay, we don't forget about that all the time in the Philippines. There's always like really gender equality in a proper way. And uh, it's not forgotten. Filipino men are the modern, the, I mean, let's say the modern day Adonis. <laughs> I would love to call them like that. Um, a lot of Western men go for Filipinas, right? It's very common since, I told you, since uh, pre-colonial times until the other colonization period and uh, until present day. But a Western woman dating or marrying a Filipino man is um, almost unheard of. But uh, now there's a lot also. I mean, there's not a lot compared to Filipinas, of course. But yes, there's a lot that I've seen already that um, Filipino men are sought after to buy Western women. So to be honest, they're also the same with Filipinas in terms of being sweet, being... A gentleman and uh, very thoughtful, romantic, and family oriented. Men are sometimes stereotyped as mama's boy because of their closeness to their moms. Because, okay, partly true, uh, but that's just because they're one of the most family oriented individuals, men or individuals. On this planet honestly that's why I mentioned in my previous videos that if a guy is not responsible enough to or doesn't have a lot of ideas of how to start a family if he is not prepared if he is immature to deal with problems and solve the problems of the family he doesn't know how to stand on his own decisions then he will be branded as mama's boy or under the saya i ex ex i explained that in my previous video so under the saya, saya means skirt 
it's a Spanish word, uh, I think. And so under the skirt, it means that he's not ready. He's just a boy <laughs> who deals with life so easy and doesn't think about the betterment of the family, doesn't decide, get, leads the family, um, doesn't provide, doesn't um, protect and help in forerun, not just help, but he should forerun peace and order and discipline in the family. Repeatedly, I'm saying this, yeah. I'll give you some things that you need to know about our Filipino men. Shout out to all Filipino men. The first is they are outgoing and have a good sense of humor and they love being with their buddies so they always make like joking you know and bonding activities that's going to make the whole group really enjoying and laughing all the time so they aren't very picky actually when it comes to a place where they want to hang out so it could be in their homes or the streets they just love to be together with their friends no matter where or what the place looks like so they can they, they just wanted to laugh and have a you know simple jamming with guitar or karaoke and then a drink and some drinks uh, even in just a small space outside the store yes because for a filipino man it is the friendship it he it was his friendship that counts most or that matters most not the place or the environment it is the memories that they are together and they enjoy together so it's how they are and then number two filipino men actually don't like to argue so they don't care about your political views or get easily turned off by someone that opposed their beliefs they they actually they are too patient honestly and when someone gets into a fight fight like street fight or a rumble outside that is when if it's really extreme scenario or individual difference that the the guy is really like sensitive or always hot tempered so but mostly they just want peace and they have a long patient too not just with those situations but even at home even their own life like he, they hate arguments even at the workplace if they can swallow their pride and ego and accept the hate or maybe the anger of other of another person or they would always go for a peaceful settlement first mostly and if in case there will really be bad uh, counter from them counter attack from them it means that their patients have already full up they're full up so we have the saying that kapag puno ng salob you have to scrape it it's not just that kind of situation that this saying applies also even in relationships like kapag puno ng salop when the kapag puno ng salop if the ganta like it's a measuring container in gantas you have to scrape it that's why when we have this rice we we harvest rice because you don't have the you know high end weighing scale or something so you have this like wooden square container um it's one ganta and then of course you have to pour like this and of course there's like a mountain bulk of rice inside you have to scrape it to be 
to make it exact and you know appropriate accurate so this applies to the filipinos in general we are very kind kind-hearted men who see the good in everybody that's why i always post um in the shorts if you could review that uh, they're just happy people both filipinas and filipino men and they always take the positive side actually we always look at the positive side of everything it's not only actually filipino men this being kind-hearted if we see that someone needs help whatever it is as long as they can help in simple things they will really do it without asking something in return that's a general uh, trait of filipinos they won't spend hours uh, debating about which is which and you know they would rather compromise out of respect see so you see respect always comes in for us as much as possible again they would really go for arranging settling things in in a calm manner in a polite manner in in a peaceful manner than shouting or really <laughs> boxing <laughs> it happens of course but uh, these are isolated cases and uh, if there is really too much and um, yeah individual differences again you know the the philippines is a multicultural society and it is really very diverse when it comes to that also uh, because we are comprised of different ethnicities and cultural backgrounds culture cultural orientations considering that we are 7641 islands well when it's low tide <laughs> when it's high tide maybe some are not seen okay number three is they love their families they will do everything for their families even you know giving their own life it doesn't only apply to filipino men but also for filipino women especially when it comes to um, occupying her territory so that's why they're territorial it means that it's it's mostly about like you know when you're flirting with her man really flirting okay not that just that you're just talking to um a friend or workmate but if she sees and know that there's really something fishy or something is really wrong then prepare <laughs> because they value family a lot they always wanted to have an ideal and not perfect but at least um, you know that stereotype ideal family filipino family that we have that we have uh, seen since we are kids that we are raised from so a lot of uh, these filipino men sometimes i of course huh, i'm saying that a lot or most because uh, there are also some bad apples in the in the way of course but a good filipino man cares more about his family than anything in the world so it's like always family first family first in the philippines both men and women okay so it's like yeah give and take reciprocation again it's really not an issue in the philippines never an issue never at all i swear a lot of them would take a risk going you know abroad to provide their family's needs that's a big sacrifice even for us women if you know because again because we not we don't think of ourselves we think of our family we want them to be comfortable we want them to live a good life we want them to earn a good job someday we want them to we want to send them in good schools and have degrees 
And uh, this extended family, for example, even he, he has his own family, the, the wife understands that and doesn't complain about that because it is our culture. Again, that um, the Filipino man will actually still help for example, his younger brother or his younger sister going to college, for example, if he knows that his parents can't barely afford to send him to school, to send her or him to school for a degree for her, for her or his education. So the Filipino man takes responsibility to help him or her. That's an example. And of course, he expects nothing in return. For him, it's already a reward that his sister or his brother will finish school and get that diploma. Then you see it hanging on the walls of Filipino homes. <laughs> They're just so proud of it. He's willingly helping them helping his siblings even cousins or you know because he loves them because it's his family even for Filipino women it's her family well in some cases it's also extremes but uh, it's just a matter of like if you get a Filipina for your wife or your partner then you just talk about it the Filipina will understand that she is very resilient anyway so and resourceful so she will always find means on her own and she understands that it's not all the time like that should be like that like i don't know but for me personally i have this principle in life that i could help i would help if i can and if i want to not just any time I will see the situation if it's really valid and reasonable if I have but if not sorry okay and it's not all the time because my principle is I am not actually if it's gonna be consistent and regular it's not gonna be like helping them but I'm teaching them and pushing them to be irresponsible especially for men like my younger brothers and my son of course i'm teaching them to be irresponsible not a real man someday for their future family and to be lazy and not and immature not to to think and learn how to be responsible to provide things for the family in the future that is my personal stand on that. I will help as, as much as I can, but I will see if it is reasonable and it's not going to be like regular, you know, I, except of course for my kids, like it, I have two regularly every month because first they need me, still they need me and it's like squeezing my heart if I can because they are my kids they are gems to me that completes my essence as a woman too so and I'm thankful for even if my previous that previous relationship with her father has not really been successful but then I have them so that's the positive side of it I've seen my beautiful kids how they look like that they look like me <laughs> and some character also comes from me and some from their father okay he's very timid and he doesn't really open up his feelings like that so i'm always telling him that whatever it is don't be shy be honest with me whether it's you've created some mistakes i'm not going to touch you I'm still here to morally support you and accept you because you came from me. You know how, how hard it is that nine months you've carried that kid and then when you gave birth, of course, 
you have to wake up do household chores take care of them hands on teach them guide them that's your essence as a woman you don't just bear kids and then boom, okay you don't care at all like what i've seen in some situation some cases in the west right now not like they just you know give birth and uh, they're lucky because they have the government to support them but for me i think it's really getting out of the way because they they get too dependent on the government that they lose the essence of being a nurturing caring loving mom and wife it made them like easy go lucky and dependent lazy i mean i'm responsible because what would they worry about tell me if okay i give birth now i give, give birth i get another boyfriend i get this and i give birth after a span of a year another one <laughs> because the government is there so i'm still thankful that our government is not that rich and doesn't have that capacity because at least it holds the family values the traditional values they still have the positive side of that of our situation in the, as a country at least we don't have um, the chance or opportunity to neglect our obligations and to depend on our government because our government cannot give us that so that's the positive side. We're still thankful that we are not so rich country. And in any case, I will still attest to this, that if in case the government and the Philippines will really be very rich in the future, maybe, hopefully, also, because of course it will help people, our people, and our country as well. But yes, it, will, it won't change really it won't really it might have a bit of influence too probably but no because our government itself will not push for those things that will destroy our culture and our family traditions and customs and the strong sense of family values and the importance of the family it's always like family first family first children first i already told you that filipino men are really having high regard and treats their mother so up there high because they had this debt of gratitude inside that without their moms nurturing and caring for them that since they were babies since they were inside the womb they wouldn't be here in this world so they always put that in in their minds automatically also it's like a, already like unspoken law and rule inside the genes of filipino men and filipinas okay so usually they sometimes are branded or you have heard that uh, they are stereotyped as mama's boy uh, but yeah, in some way they are actually in in that sense. But if they would take care of their old mothers and make sure that you know she's well and healthy, it's not an issue for women, Filipino women, for their partners. The Filipinas will also understand and even do the same thing with their own moms. But if it in extremes of course like everything in the mom is meddling in your own family issues your relationship too much i mean well that's a different thing and then it's another conflict between couples also in the filipino couples also it's just everything is actually like just moderate uh, and women understand the root the culture the idea 
in the proper norms, the proper cultural mores. And it's and for us it's good. As long as it's not extremes, everything, whatever it is, it, as long as it's there is not in it's not in extremes, we don't really give a big issue in that or so many blah blahs. Because always we understand and feel. So it's always help this one and this one always a team. Next one is Filipino men are overprotective. That's why I mentioned in my previous video, like an example of how Filipinas feel when someone, when her guy will, her man will tell her, you know, you cannot go to the party because it's too late and it's, you know, there's a lot of men who will be getting drunk and then he, you get into trouble or something like that. So, for us, it's we don't feel bad about that if a guy is going to tell us that, if our man is going to tell us that. Because for us, it means that he loves, cares, and protects us. So we are happy about that. And that, like, wow. We don't think it like the other side, like negative side, like, oh, he, he's enslaving me. He's like, I'm like a prisoner to his orders and or slave to his orders no 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 we, we we take it differently and we love that we really do we're very attracted to those guys because it means he's really a man so this might be one of the cons but uh, reputation is very important in the philippines really so that's why even i told you also that extramarital affairs infidelity it's like really taboo because eh, it's part of your reputation as an individual it, that's on stake here both men and women so there there goes like your conscience will already so you're like a, like a schizo or something that you talk to yourself sometimes because it's like like self-assessment and yes you are like your conscience is really telling you don't no no this is bad this that is not the right thing to do and blah 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 we do that all most of the time uh, filipino men are overprotective that sometimes they really really do care what their partners wear in public so we're not really used to see like really <laughs> sorry oh my gosh yes, i do dress good i mean we love to dress good and but still it to dress appropriate to speak appropriate in the proper time venue forum place I, that's why i don't like long nails i really First, I don't know how to take good care of those nails. And second, is it's really uneasy and I mean, uncomfortable for me uh, when I do things like this, for example. Because I don't like to see 